I watched The Artful Dodger, and here is what I thought. If you have never heard of this show, here is a little bit about what's about. Dodger is our main male cast, and he is a talented doctor, but he has a bit of a questionable past. And then we have Belle, who is another main character, and she also wants to be a doctor. So eventually she convinces Dodger to help her become one of the first female doctors. And he's not too happy about this, but there is some back and forth between them, and it definitely makes the show very entertaining and I love seeing the chemistry between these two characters. So that is going to be your very basic general synopsis of this show, The Art for Dodger. Dodger is a doctor but he has a little bit of a past that he doesn't want anyone to find out about. Belle is the daughter of a very wealthy man and she wants to be a female doctor even though that's not exactly what the path her parents have put out for her but she wants to learn. Dodger's not too happy that he, that she enlisted him to help her but he does it anyway and he tries to help her become one of the first female doctors and the more they get to know each other the better it is for this show and on-screen chemistry. I'm loving it. But that's all I'm gonna say before I get into spoilers for the TV show. So if you don't want to know anything else about it and that intrigued you, you can click off now, go watch the show, and then come back and listen to the rest of my thoughts and see if they align. But if you don't really care what I think or if I spoil anything, let's continue on. So this has been my first watch of the year. I actually found out about this show through TikTok. I saw a fan edit of the two main characters with Dodger and Belle and I knew I seen the main girl in Good Trouble and the movie The Last Summer on Netflix and I really like her as an actress and the guy I know I saw him on a Maze Runner and I think he also played in Annie McBee and I liked him as an actor so I was like okay this will be kind of interesting seeing them too and I'm interested to see what this show's about. So as I mentioned before Dodger is the main character of this show and he's a very talented doctor and he has very very good skill very talented better than his co-workers and other people he works with he's kind of at a disadvantage than the other people that work with him he doesn't have all the opportunities that they have unfortunately this past does catch up to him near the beginning of the show his father figure finds him and in the past they used to be thieves they used to steal you know they used to steal and Dodger doesn't want to be a thief and when the old man tries to recruit him he's like no and tells him he doesn't want to currently working on being a doctor and he wants to pursue that but currently as he is a doctor he's not making a whole lot of money I think he just makes enough money for room and board but not extra stuff he got himself in a little bit of debt so he could use the money if they pulled off an excess a successful heist so he does start considering it and if anyone does find out about his his true past it could get him in some trouble so even though he doesn't want to he decides to assist this old man with a heist and while they're in the process of doing one of their heists Belle who is our main actress character of this show she catches them kind of pulling off a heist and decides to use it to her advantage thank goodness she did catch them because they kind of didn't pull it off successfully and people were aware something was stolen and so they started checking people and Belle kind of saved them and trust me, she had a trick up her sleeve. She says she will keep the secret and not report him, but he has to help her become one of the first female doctors. And let me tell you, he is very reluctant. They're not really seeing eye to eye. When they first meet, they don't like each other. They're like kind of annoyed or tolerate each other, if I could say. And he's like, really, he doesn't want to do this, but he'll do it to protect himself because he doesn't want to ruin what he currently has going. So he begins to teach her and they grow closer and closer. I liked in the beginning how they were both kind of annoyed at each other. And then I really liked how they kind of were attracted to each other's intelligence and skill set. I think they were both not initially interested in the physical, but were both interested in how much each of them loved the medical field and different surgeries and the progression of medicine and I think if they didn't have that basis they wouldn't have such a great connection. I love seeing their relationship develop and grow throughout the season. Even during this time he was still doing a little bit of thefts and she knew about it and she still wanted to be with him. She realized she's like this is you I want to be with you. She so their love was more of a forbidden love. She came from a family with money and status and he did not. He was a doctor, he was well respected, but he didn't have the money or status that she did. We also learn in the show that he can't read very well. He knows how to read, but it is difficult for him and hard for him to read. And it looks like he has, so instead of reading medical books and 
doing that for surgeries if someone says it to him he'll memorize it which in my opinion makes him even more smarter that he has to try to memorize textbooks and words from to how to do a surgery instead of looking at it and he does it because you know it is harder for him to read medical journals and medical information with all these obstacles in his way the fact that he's still able to be a doctor and become one and be the best in where he's working is amazing. I just loved watching the two of them on screen. I love the chemistry they had and honestly after watching the show they have become one of my favorite TV couples. I think he likes how smart she is and how intelligent she is and I, I like that. I like a s smart woman. She doesn't have to have a man but they just work so well together because they're both mentally equivalent I feel. They're both very intelligent and I think they match that in each other. So this show isn't just a romance. I know I talked about most of that, but it isn't. This definitely has comedy elements in it as well. So as I mentioned before, there's an older gentleman that comes back in his life and gets Dodger back into the life of a thief. And he joins him for that one job just so he can pay off a debt. But after that one job, he keeps getting pulled in more and more. And he actually likes pulling these heists and he's good at it. He's That smart brain isn't just for being a doctor, it's for figuring out how to pull off successful heists. And as I mentioned, if he does get caught, this could affect his career as a doctor. He can get arrested. But it was just fun seeing these group of thieves and people trying to pull off certain heists. Not all of them were successful, let me say. And that's what I liked. It was like, are we? is this going to work? Is this not going to work? Like Dodger was very smart, but a lot of the time he wasn't the one coming up with the heists and putting through the plan because he was a doctor. He was busy. Other people were doing it. And some things were thought out but some things he was like is this really gonna work dodger was the question he's like i don't think this is gonna work and the guy's like no 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 trust me we got it all planned out so it was fun seeing that seeing the banter seeing these heists happening i just i really enjoyed it it was a great time so yeah like i mentioned before it has the romance it has a comedy but it also has the emotions and let me just say they were playing with him throughout the show you see signs that bell is sick and it turns out it's really bad and she knows she's sick but no one else does and she's keeping it to herself and eventually she tells dodger and lets him know how serious it is and she tells him if you don't believe me just listen gives him a stethoscope and he listens and he hears it as well and she asks him to do a surgery that she probably won't survive and he's like no i can't do it it's like he won't do it there's no way anyone has done this successful i mean the patient has lived and he because he really does care about her and love her he doesn't want to be the one responsible for putting her life in danger but she's like if we don't do this i'm probably gonna die anyway so why not try so eventually he, they both try to figure out if there's a way he can do this without killing her she believes in him more than i believe that i think he believes in him she's like she knows how talented he is she trusts him and he she believes he can find a way to do it because of how good he is but he's on the other hand like he knows how big a risk this surgery is he doesn't want to do it he doesn't want to even cut her open he doesn't want to try it he doesn't want to be the person to do that to her eventually he finds a way where he could possibly do the surgery successfully and at that time it's almost too late bell gets really sick and he has to do it and he eventually does a surgery on her and hopes that she wakes up and hopes that he was able to save her life oh, and let me just tell you i was crying during almost all of this happening like they both knew how sick she was no one else believed them and then doing the surgery and how like emotional he was because i think he was the only one that could do it and possibly do it successfully i can't believe this show did that to me i feel like it was mostly lighthearted and funny and romance you know serious moments but then that end <sighs> guys i was crying but i'm an emotional person so maybe you won't cry that much when you watch it they were playing my emotions man they were playing my emotions i had such a good time watching this show like i mentioned before this was my first watch of the year and i'm so glad it was it just started the year off right put me in a great mood after watching the show i would rate it 4.5 stars it was really good guys like i had a great time watching it it had the romance it had the comedy it had the emotions and it was also a period piece so it had a great mix of everything that i love in a tv show 
So I think that's why I love this so much. But I do think it's just a really good show, even though it had a lot of things that I would enjoy. I think if you guys are looking for a new show, definitely check out The Artful Dodger. I think it's a great one to watch. And the show is on Hulu, so definitely you can check that out. It's only one season and not too many episodes either. You could probably watch it in one weekend. That's how um, short it is, but it's so good. I do have to warn you, um, if you do begin the show, it does end like there could be more. I personally wasn't satisfied with the ending. Again, great show, 4.5. I'm not going to change my rating. I just wish if it was only going to be one season, it was closure. But I've been reading and trying to see if there's going to be a second season. And a lot of sites and posts are saying that this was only a limited series, which I'm very disappointed in. I hope that changes because this show is too good and it needs another season. I'm just saying with that ending, I think they left themselves open to possibly have a second season. And personally, as a fan who watched this show, I was not satisfied with that being the ending of a limited series. We need more. I want to see this couple on screen again. I want to see these, that, these heists. I want to see them together. It was great. So if you have seen The Artful Dodger, what did you think? Did you enjoy it as much as I did? If not, let me know why in the comments. I'm interested to see why people like and dislike things. And if you have any suggestions for shows that are similar to this, definitely leave them in the comments below because I was having a really hard time thinking of shows that reminded me of this show. That if you like this, I think you will like another show. So I'm not sure. I definitely have a lot of period piece tv shows that i enjoy but i didn't think any of them were exactly like this one well i hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it also feel free to check me out on any of my socials it is ats underscore mgo on all platforms uh, and i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you have a good rest of your day week month and hopefully a good rest of your year and until next time bye